Our market monitor tonight likes all weather stocks he said could rise 10 to 15 percent over the next year and a half. The last time he was on, in July, he recommended Disney, Microsoft and Starbucks, all of which have risen. Joining us is John Trainer. He is the chief investment officer at People's United Bank's Wealth Management. Nice to see you, John. Welcome back. Good to see you. And Good congratulations you. on those picks. They're doing well. Uh, I, I, we're very pleased with them. We own them all and we're very pleased. Excellent. Let's get to your picks this time around. You say that you have some muted expectations for the market, so you're looking for a 10 to 15 percent return on your picks. That's a pretty good return for muted expectations. It, it is a, uh, for those three stocks, those are the expectations. For the overall market, we're probably in the high single digits. Uh, you've got, you know, sort of the Trump effect, as you've been discussing this evening, which we think will keep investors a little cautious, probably have a little extra cash in their portfolios. Mm -hmm. So we don't see the market really becoming extremely ebullient this year. So the overall market probably 8 to 10, and hopefully okay. those stocks will outperform. Well, let's get to them. TJX, retail has had a really tough week. Why do you like this particular stock? We like this stock, and this is TJ Maxx. We like this stock in particular because it has a business model that can compete against the Amazon effect. A lot of your uh, viewers have seen Amazon really devastate retailers across the board, the big department store retailers. TJ Maxx has a unique sales proposition. Consumers need to go into that store. Plus, as the department stores struggle, that creates opportunities. All right, let's move to uh, Disney. Yep. Uh, Disney uh, suffered a little bit in its latest earnings report. They're suffering from the cord cutting situation, but you think that that provides opportunity? Absolutely. In fact, we think this, this little pullback in Disney pr uh, presents a little buying opportunity for investors. But Disney has the content that consumers want. What Disney's got to do, and, and we think uh, Iger, Robert Iger, will do a great job figuring out how to deliver that content to consumers. Consumers still want their, their content. They're just not happy with those high cable bills. So Disney's just got to figure out a different distribution channel. And you say Oracle basically has managed to conquer the cloud computing model that it put forward several years ago. A absolutely. We've watched Oracle for several years. I mean, the stock really has been flat for about three years now. They finally figured out their cloud strategy. And as you, you heard with the, uh, the report that you just gave earlier, companies are moving to the cloud. And you've got to have a cloud strategy. Int uh, Oracle has a phenomenal strategy, and we really think they're poised for really good performance going forward. On that note, John, thank you so much for joining us again. We appreciate it. Great. Thank you. John Trainer with People's United Bank's Wealth Management.